Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to analyze the Dolphin Entertainment Company. It's a company that operates as an independent entertainment marketing and premium content development company in the United States with market cap over 120 million. And yeah, there's a good positive size and negative size. The company earnings are forecast to grow over almost 60% per year and uh, earnings have grown 42% per year over the past five years. There's also risks. Shareholders have been subsequently dilated and volatile share price. Yeah, as you can see the latest news and uh, earning updates made the stock pretty much up and yeah, it was uh, Anyway, you see the market performance hugely, huge numbers. Seven day return 269 and one year return 100%. Wow, in of course, beats the industry in the market. And yeah, long term price volatility it is, it is higher than the industries and the average market. Anyway, valuation, valuation side, uh, we see here that. Uh, the share price may be reasonable evaluated currently anyway may be slightly overvaluated because for example tip ranks we see here in the price target at ten dollars and that means 45 percent downside also the market watch has the same price target as the tip ranks ten dollars currently and yeah it might be slightly overvaluated it could bounce back uh, as we can see for example Finvish shows yeah huge volumes over 150 million and and it's by the way on a pre-market over 70 percent so it might bounce very like it might go to the 30 as you can see here but it may like as fast as possible go down as we can see in June that happens June so it bounced back then it was pretty much at the same level like five around five dollars four four and five dollars per share then it bounced back to somewhere like nine and then drops down back and yeah whole whole last year went pretty much on the three to four dollars per share so I'm pretty sure that this is the same same thing coming as we can see last year's on June and July. Anyway, it's pretty volatile share, but if you would get the uh, broad of the price it was around three to four, even five, it's a good buy. Future growth, sixty percent, almost sixty percent per year earnings per share growth is forecasted as you can see it might become profitable again in the end of 2022 and yeah past performance 42 percent annual earning growth yeah company is currently unprofitable financial health health side we see here that debt to equity ratio is 43 percent and it's considered high and they do have cash 9 million equity 20 million and depth almost 9 million balance sheet we see here pretty much like red on the liability side they are not paying dividends and insider trading we see yeah that there is an individual that brought uh, sold the stock last year's 29th of December so three months ago not a significant amount but anyway ownership breakdown general public holding 66 percent individual insiders 17 institutions almost 10 and private companies seven percent top shareholders we see their one guard added yeah unfortunately the la last reported holding date is three months ago which is not fresh information but there's uh, individuals there's nobody sold the stock from from the top shareholders but there's the companies and individuals seem 
a lot of individuals here but anyway simple safe dividend show that shares outstanding keep increasing total sales pretty much on the same level as like yeah, a few years ago and uh, yeah as we can see pretty high volumes pretty high high pump and yeah the investing.com summary the stock for long-term investors as a strong buy by moving average buy thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in a future one